staying strong, healthy, and youthful. By subscribing, liking, and ringing, you can greatly support our channel and help us produce more content that you'll love. Hello and welcome to the Longevity Lifestyle YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the early symptoms of colon cancer that you should be aware of. Colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the United States. The American Cancer Society estimates that approximately 149,500 new cases of colorectal cancer will be diagnosed in 2021, and nearly 53,000 people will die from the disease. The good news is that the mortality rate from colorectal cancer has been declining in recent years, thanks in part to increased awareness and screening efforts. One of the keys to reducing the mortality rate from colorectal cancer is early detection. Colon cancer, in particular, can often be detected early through routine screening, and early detection can significantly improve the chances of successful treatment. What is colon cancer? Colon cancer, also known as colorectal cancer, is a type of cancer that develops in the colon or rectum. The colon is the large intestine, which is responsible for absorbing water and electrolytes from food as it passes through the digestive system. The rectum is the final part of the large intestine, and it stores feces before they are eliminated from the body. Colon cancer usually begins as a small, non-cancerous growth called a polyp. Over time, some polyps can become cancerous, and if they are not detected and treated, the cancer can spread to other parts of the body. Who is at risk for colon cancer? Certain factors can increase a person's risk of developing colon cancer. 1. Age. The risk of colon cancer increases as you get older, and most cases are diagnosed in people over 50.2. Family history. If you have a first-degree relative, parent, sibling, or child, who has had colon cancer, your risk is higher. 3. Personal history. If you have had colon cancer before, you are at a higher risk of developing it again. Point four. Inflammatory bowel disease. People with inflammatory bowel disease, such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, are at a higher risk of developing colon cancer. 5. Certain genetic syndromes. Some genetic syndromes, such as Lynch syndrome and familial adenomatous polyposis, FAP, can increase the risk of colon cancer. Point six. Sedentary lifestyle. Lack of physical activity and a sedentary lifestyle can increase the risk of colon cancer. 7. Diet. A diet that is high in red meat and processed meat and low in fruits and vegetables can increase the risk of colon cancer. Point 8. Smoking. Smoking can increase the risk of colon cancer. Early symptoms of colon cancer In many cases, colon cancer does not cause any symptoms in the early stages. However, as the cancer grows, it can cause a variety of symptoms. Some of the early symptoms of colon cancer include Unexplained weight loss can be a sign of many different health conditions, including cancer. If you are losing weight without trying, and you don't have a clear explanation for why, you should talk to your doctor. Changes in bowel habits can be a sign of colon cancer. These changes can include constipation. If you are experiencing constipation that is not responding to dietary changes or medication, it could be a sign of colon cancer. Diarrhea. Persistent diarrhea can be a sign of colon cancer. Alternating constipation and diarrhea. If you are experiencing both constipation and diarrhea, it could be a sign of colon cancer. Narrow stools. If your stools are narrower than usual, it could be a sign of colon cancer. Blood in the stool is one of the most common symptoms of colon cancer. If you notice blood in your stool or on the toilet paper, you should talk to your doctor. Keep in mind that blood in the stool can be caused by other conditions as well such as hemorrhoids or anal fissures. Abdominal pain or cramping can be a sign of colon cancer. If you are experiencing persistent pain or cramping in your abdomen, you should talk to your doctor. Fatigue or weakness can be a symptom of many different health conditions, including colon cancer. If you are feeling tired or weak without a clear explanation, you should talk to your doctor. Dizziness or lightheadedness can be a sign of colon cancer, especially if it is accompanied by other symptoms such as weakness or fatigue. Screening for colon cancer Screening for colon cancer can help detect the disease early, when it is more treatable. The American Cancer Society recommends that people at average risk of colon cancer begin screening at age 45. People at increased risk, due to factors such as family history or personal history, may need to begin screening earlier. There are several different tests that can be used to screen for colon cancer. 1. Colonoscopy. 
During a colonoscopy, a doctor uses a flexible tube with a camera on the end to examine the inside of the colon and rectum. If any polyps are found, they can be removed during the procedure. 2. Stool tests. Stool tests can detect blood or abnormal cells in the stool. These tests include fecal immunochemical tests, FIT, and guaiac-based fecal occult blood tests, GFOBT. 3. CT colonography. A CT colonography, also known as a virtual colonoscopy, uses X-rays to create images of the colon and rectum. If any polyps are found, a colonoscopy may be needed to remove them. Talk to your doctor about which screening test is best for you. Conclusion Colon cancer is a serious disease, but early detection can significantly improve the chances of successful treatment. If you are experiencing any of the early symptoms of colon cancer, talk to your doctor. And if you are at an increased risk for colon cancer, make sure you are following the recommended screening guidelines. By being aware of the early symptoms and getting screened regularly, you can help protect yourself against colon cancer. Thank you for watching and we hope this video has been informative and helpful. I recommend that you watch all the videos I upload from the beginning to gain a comprehensive understanding of the topics covered. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos on health and wellness. See you in the next one.